Hello everyone. In chapter 7, the equatorial region, we will study about its location and the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Its location is, the equatorial region falls in the torrid zone and has a hot and wet climate throughout the year. The region is found on both sides of the equator. It lies between the Tropic of Cancer and the Tropic of Capricorn. The places and the continents that come under the equatorial region are South America, Africa and Southeast Asia. Now we will study about the various features of the Democratic Republic of Congo. Earlier it was called Zaire. It lies in the equatorial region. Its location is, it is located in Central Africa. It is the second largest country of Africa after Algeria. The equator passes through the northern part of the country. The largest city, city in uh, Shasa is the capital and it is surrounded by nine countries. East, Uganda, Rwanda, Burundi, Tanzania. West, Republic of the Congo. North, Central African Republic, South, Angola, Zambia. Now it's geography. It has an area of 9,5354 square miles. The western tip of the country is touched by the Atlantic Ocean. The country lies in the center of the Congo River Basin. And the river Congo is the main physical feature of the country. The river basin is surrounded by mountains and plateaus and is called the Highway of Central Africa. Margarita Peak is the highest peak in these mountains. The country is also known for its four lakes called Albert, Edward, Kivu and Tanganyika. This region has no winter season. As we already know that this region received rainfall throughout the year, so the country is rich in vegetation. The forest areas are very dense and contains a large variety of trees and plants. There are grasses, shrubs, creepers, climbers and tall trees which reach a height of about 60 meters. This tree joined to make a canopy at the top which makes the forest dim and dark. Canopy means a branch and leaves that spread out at the top of a group of trees forming a type of roof. The trees shed leaves at different time of the year, hence the forests stay green all the year round. Animals life Democratic Republic of Congo is called the National Zoo of the World. Here, monkeys, chimpanzees, gorillas and baboons swings from tree to tree. Elephant, hippos, giraffe and rhinos are seen in the marshland. The river and lakes are home of fish, alligator and crocodiles. The bonobos or pygmy chimpanzees are found only in this country. People and Culture this region is thinly populated. Some people have migrated to towns to work in mines and factories and adopted western lifestyle. The original inhabitants were short structures, pygmies. They are very short, measuring less than 150 cm in height. They live in huts and are still hunters and food gatherers. A large number of Congolese are but Bantu Negros. The official language of the country is French and Lingila is the official language of the military. Majority of the people practice Christianity and the remaining still follow traditional African beliefs and other religions. Economy The country has rich natural deposits of minerals and is the leading producer of industrial diamonds. Most of the minerals are exported. It also produces half of the world cobalt, 
Cobalt is a silver white magnetic metal. Mining is the chief industry and electricity is produced from the Congo River and is also exported to other countries. In 1960, the country became independent. Occupation Farming is the major occupation. The chief crop cultivated are rice, maize and cassava. Cassava is a root that is dried and pounded into flour which is used to make bread. Varieties of cash crops such as cocoa, coffee, tobacco, cotton and are grown here and are exported to other countries. Transport and communication. The most important means of transport here is water transport. Air transport is also becoming popular nowadays. Cities. About one third of the population live in town and city. The capital city Kinshasa is the largest city with a population of more than 1 million. Some of the other cities are Lubombashi, Mubuji Mai, Kisangani and Kananga. The Democratic Republic of Congo is very rich in natural resources. With the help of proper infrastructure, it can become one of the richest nation in the continent. So, this is all about the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Hope you all have understood and enjoyed this chapter. Thank you.